Well, for each candidate, one of the goals last night was to sell his or her message to the public. And we asked a message master from the other side of the aisle to tell us just how they performed. Jim Manley used to be senior communications advisor for the Senate's Democratic leader, Harry Reid. He's now a senior director at Washington advisory firm Quinn Gillespie. Jim, always good talking to you. Uh, tell you, me, Margaret. who poses the biggest who poses the biggest threat to Democrats? Well, I'm not so sure any of them pose the biggest threat, but if you're asking me who I thought did the best last night, it's probably Mitt Romney, though, compared to some of the others, that's not a very uh, high bar uh, uh, to achieve. Uh, Romney was capable. Uh, he stuck to his talking points. It was hard to knock off message. Um, so I think probably he was, uh, you know, the victor walking away from the uh, debate last night. Who do you think was the uh, weakest performer? Well, that, there's an awful long list of uh, people that I think fit in that uh, category, but I got to tell you, let's talk about Herman Cain for a second. Uh, 999 may be a good pr uh, price for a pizza, but it makes pretty bad economic policy. The fact is, any way you slice it, uh, his proposal would mean tax cuts for the wealthy uh, and uh, tax increases for the less fortunate in this country. It was put together uh, by a group of economists, only one of which we know of and no one's heard of, and he refuses mm -hmm. to share any of the details. That was pretty weird, I got to tell you. Uh, uh, <laughs> but having said that, also per performing very poorly was uh, former Speaker uh, Newt Gingrich. His rhetorical excesses know no bounds, and uh, all he's doing now is trying to play for attention any way he can get it. Well, uh, Herman Cain, you might not have liked him, but he's but he's coming in second place in terms of the uh, polling that we've done uh, among Republicans and Republican-leaning independents. Uh, what did you think of Ron Paul's performance? Uh, what was his message? Well, uh, let me go back to, uh, let me give credit where credit's due. Uh, strictly from a message perspective, I think uh, Herman Cain did a, a great job in trying to uh, sell his uh, proposal last night, flawed that it, though it may be. Again, in this business, in this business, repetition is key, and he sure as hell uh, stuck to that. Uh, having said that, um, uh, you know, I, I, again, I, I, he, he may be enthusiastic, but uh, I don't think his policy is going to uh, fly. Do you think that President Obama has been effective in his messaging? His jobs plan didn't make it through the Senate last night. Well, it did make it through the Senate last night, but the, record, uh, the Republicans are on a record once again of voting against efforts to promote uh, jobs and stimulate the economy. Uh, I've been pleased, uh, very pleased, by the noticeable uptick in the president's rhetoric uh, in recent weeks, starting with uh, his speech uh, on Labor Day in Detroit. I think he's doing a, a, a much better job of trying to highlight the differences in the contrast, but he's also putting, uh, you know, real solutions uh, to current problems uh, uh, on the table for discussion. Uh, looking back at the debate last night, none of these candidates, I mean, none of them had any significant substantive ideas to try and stimulate the, mm -hmm. uh, the economy and, uh, and to protect the uh, middle class. Uh, sound bites galore, drill baby drill. Uh, it was uh, uh, Mr. Perry's solution to the economy, apparently, uh, for uh, Congresswoman Bachman. Uh, her uh, best uh, proposal was to uh, attack the Fed. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, Speaker Gingrich, his proposal was to attack, in very sh sharp terms, uh, former co uh, uh, Congressman Barney Frank and the Fed. Not quite sure how any of those yeah. proposals are going to lead to uh, efforts to promote the economy. So, so Jim, none of the eight made you switch parties last night. I, I got that clear, at least. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you very much, Jim, Jim Manley. Always good talking to you from Quentin Gillespie.